tissue they are classified into four types epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and nervous tissue for yesterday's class i already completed the epithelial tissue so today i'm starting with the new topic connective tissue okay from the name itself connective tissue tissues connect in the structures connective tissues it connect the various structures of our body with each other okay oru tissue allengil ava ver oru body part aitum connect cheyna ottri tissues it connects the various structures of our body with each other it is known as connective tissue so what are the components of a connective tissue we can see cells fibers and ground substance so namaku e fibroblast macrophages plasma cells angane ottri cells arya isn't it eosinophils idellam nammal evide kaanunu connective tissue la even we can see fat cells fat cells inde vera name enda adipose adipocytes cells of the fat cells adipocytes then fibers namaku three different type of fibers we can see collagen fibers elastic fibers and reticular fibers so idellam endana components aanu indile components aanu നമ്മുടെ കണക്റ്റീവ് ടിഷ്യൂന്റെ കോമ്പോണൻസ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ സോ വി കെൻ സി ദ സെൽസ് ഫൈബേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രൗണ്ട് സബ്സ്റ്റൻസ് സോ വാട്ട് ഇസ് കണക്റ്റീവ് ടിഷ്യൂ ഇറ്റ് കണക്ട്സ് ദ വേരിയസ് പാർട്സ് ഓഫ് അവർ ബോഡി ഒന്നിനൊന്നിനായിട്ട് കണക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് എന്തെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് കണക്റ്റീവ് ടിഷ്യൂ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ കോമ്പോണൻസ് യു കെൻ സി ദ സെൽസ് ഫൈബേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രൗണ്ട് സബ്സ്റ്റൻസ് you can see the picture of the connective tissue here you can see here you can make out the fibers we kaanunnadokke endana fibers aanu then you can see the cells idokke enda varunnathu cells aanu connective tissue le so what are the components of a connective tissue yes very good cells fibers and ground substance okay so while coming to the cells of the connective tissue fibroblast macrophages mast cells adipose cells then leukocytes and pigment cells is it clear so what are the cells of the connective tissue you can see the fibroblast macrophages mast cells adipose cells leukocytes and pigment cells next while coming to the fibroblast fibroblast are the most common cell type in the connective tissue they are in the two form active form and inactive form the active form cells they are known as fibroblast why they are known as active form they will make collagen fibers reticular fibers and elastic fibers but the fibrocytes they are in the inactive form they induces the production of the fibroblast okay is it clear so there are two most common cell type in the connective tissue one in the active form and one in the inactive form the fibroblast they are in the active form they will help in the production of the fibers but the fibrocyte they are in the inactive form they will induce the function of the fibroblast they are spindle shaped cells the fibroblast are spindle shaped cells they help in the synthesis or production of the connective tissue fibers and the ground substance okay next while coming to the macrophages macrophages are phagocytic cells so they helps in the defense mechanism there are of two type fixed and wandering cells so the fixed cells examples the kuffer cells in the liver and for wandering monocyte in blood okay so the macrophages are phagocytic cells so what is the function of the phagocytic cells they helps for mechanism next mast cells mast cells how they are seen in the group no they are seen in the group along the blood vessel the cytoplasm will filled with the granules the granules contain heparin and histamine so it promote the allergic reaction so the mast cells they seen as groups along the blood vessels the cytoplasm filled with the granules 
the granules contain heparin and histamine it promote the allergic reactions coming to the adipose cells adipose cells which may occur single or in groups the groups of the adipose cells is known as adipose tissue they contain large fat droplet the adipose cells exhibit a narrow rim of cytoplasm and a flattened nucleus in its periphery okay this is an adipose cell you can see the nucleus at its periphery and this is about a cytoplasm rim okay so the adipose cell it may occur single or you can see it in the group so the group of adipose cells they are known as adipose tissue they contain large fat droplet is it clear leukocytes leukocytes are white blood cells are transported by the blood neutrophils and eosinophils they migrate into the connective tissue from the blood vessel their main function is to defend the organism against the bacterial invasion or foreign matter okay so they will defend the organism against the bacterial invasion or foreign matters so the leukocytes or they are known as wbc are transported by the blood okay next pigment cells they are seen in the skin and choroid layer of the eye the main pigment cell is the melanocyte which produce melanin is it clear pigment cells they are seen in the skin and choroid layer of the eye they are the main pigment cell is the melanocyte which produce melanin so which are the cells we completed now fibroblast macrophages mast cells adipose cells leukocytes and pigment cells okay is it clear about the cells already we told about the fibers of the connective tissue there are three type collagen fibers elastic fibers reticular fibers we can see that the collagen fibers are tough thick fibrous protein that will not branch they are the most abundant fibers and they are found in almost all the connective tissue but the elastic fibers they are the thin small branching fibers that allow to stretch elastic so they will they can stretch then reticular means they will form a network reticular fibers are fine type 3 collagen and they form a delicate net like framework in the liver lymph node and spleen so the collagen fibers are seen in bundles they form a thick fibrous protein but they will not branch in the connective tissue you can see the most abundant fibers of the collagen fibers next while coming to the elastic fibers from the term itself elastic they allow for the stretch elastic fibers are thin small branching fibers that allow for stretching then reticular means there will be a network or framework they are fine collagen fibers and they will form a delicate net like framework in the liver lymph node and spleen okay ground substance ground substance they form a gel like matrix the components of the ground system or ground substance carbohydrate proteoglycan adhesive glycoproteins okay so they will form a gel like matrix glycosaminoglycan proteoglycan are the components of ground substance let us see the types of connective tissue loose connective tissue loose connective tissue means they contain few collagen fibers and more cells but in the dense connective tissue dense means can uh, densely packed it contains fewer cells and more collagen fibers but in the loose connective tissue you can see less collagen fibers and more cells here in the dense connective tissue you can see less cells and more collagen fibers the dense connective tissue again divided into two type dense regular connective tissue and dense irregular connective tissue dense regular connective tissue means the parallel arrangement of the fiber like our tendon next dense irregular connective tissue means they are 
arranged in an interlacing pattern like the dermis of the skin how it is arranged in the dermis of the skin the fiber bundle arranged in an interlacing pattern is it clear the classification of conjunctive tissue the conjunctive tissue is divided into two type loose conjunctive tissue and dense conjunctive tissue again the dense conjunctive tissue is divided into dense regular conjunctive tissue and dense irregular conjunctive tissue for example for dense regular conjunctive tissue is the tendon and dense irregular conjunctive tissue is dermis of skin so all the four tissue epithelial tissue conjunctive tissue muscular tissue and the nervous tissue can be asking for your exams okay so already we completed the epithelial tissue and connective tissue next tissues we will be completing in the next section so for your reference you can see the epithelial tissue under the uh, description box okay so thank you thank you for watching